Welcome back. And uh, Rick Mass uh, is currently going on for the full NGSU officer who was actually killed during the deceit attack that happened last week. The officer with the record officer will be buried on Saturday at his home. That's the Kimala village in Taita Taveta. Remember that uh, Jafet Nuru was among the elite officers who rescued more than 700 people after five gunmen attacked the deceit D2. And let's just cross over uh, to the All Saints Cathedral where the requiem mass is currently underway. Mio yetu ina uchungu mwingi. Umetuacha mapema. Hatutauliza mungu maswali na kukuchukua ila tu kumshukuru kwa kuwa alikupatia alitupatia kijana mwema ujumbe kwa vijana wengine mweke usiano mwema na Mungu kiboha mwana wetu asanteni good morning all i'm going to read the tribute by the sister on behalf of helen a special brother is a hard to find you are a brother to remember a friend I miss so much, a special someone I can't replace. I wish you could have stayed forever. Brother, you will always remain in my heart. Goodbye, brother, till we meet again. Rest in peace. Thank you. Thank you very much. On behalf of the sister, we appreciate. Now we go to the government representatives. The government representative. Karibu Mwishmiwa, or rather, okay, cry the Karibu, kindly. Then Mwishmiwa, kwa tayari. The presiding priest, the Commandant General Service Unit, Douglas Kanja Kirocho, the family of the believed, my family in the police service, good morning. Basically, the National Police Service message was that of the Inspector General, but what I want to convey to you today is the great honor and gratitude from the government to the family, the parents, sisters, and brothers of the believed. Your sign died so that Kenyans may be rescued from instant death. God bless you. God give you, give you peace. It is very painful to lose a young man of the capacity, the Commandant General Service Unit and the entire multi agency team could trust with the responsibility of containing terrorists. Once again, God bless you, God give you peace. To the rest of the Kenyans, what we want to tell Kenyans today is that Jaffet whom we are mourning today is part of a large group of Kenyans in the Kenya Defense Forces, in the National Police Service, and in other security agencies whom the government you have elected entrusts with the responsibility of underpinning our rights and fundamental freedoms. The assurance you may get from the entire government is that Jafet denied not die in vain. He died so that the terrorists can be defeated and we shall defeat them. Finally, to my colleagues, yours is a challenging calling. I have told people that um, I have been in fire exchanges during my life as a police officer, but never once really have I ever been called upon 
to contain the kind of terrorist Jaffet died in defending Eble. What the multi agency team at 14 Liverside did is could be a first in the world where terrorists intent on killing as many people as possible are within the first one hour quarantined and pushed to a corner so that their targets can be evacuated. That was a great act of tact, a great act of courage. God bless all the policemen. God bless the commandant of the GSU who led this operation. And the lives which were lost are too many. Jaffet is very dear to us. But uh, as a security person myself, I can tell you this is a case will be studied for a long, long time because the commandant was not only able to evacuate humanity, people of all nationalities, he was able to do so with minimal casualties. The responsibility, the power over life and death is that of God. And I would want to tell you today, those of us who are believers know that our firstborn to die so that we may live is Jesus Christ. And today we have no doubt Japheth died so that humanity may live. And I therefore believe if there are people who will be sitting on the right hand of God, Japheth will be one of them. God bless you all. Thank you very much. The spokesperson for the police, may the Lord bless you and encourage you. Karibu sana, Mwishimiwa. Asante sana. Um, mama yetu Lydia Asha Nuru. Helen Jumapili Nuru. Nakiluda Nuru. Ndugu Jamaa na Marafiki. Wenzake wa kutoka GSU na National Police Service wakiwa wanaongozwa na commandant Kanja viongozi wa dini walioko hapa wapendwa jamii ya Taveta na wakenya wote kwa, mju, kwa ujumla hamjambo ndugu zangu wa Kristo bwana asifiwe asalamu alaikum kabla sijaongea mchungaji utaniruhusu nimuite kaka yetu ambaye anatoka Taveta ambaye kwenye police service is the senior most he's the assistant inspector general bwana davis mulomwato please come and say a few words about your brother Mheshimiwa na Omi Shaban msemaji wa serikali bwana Kiraithe commandant eh, GSU bwana Kanja watumishi na wachungaji waliomo humu familia wenzetu kutoka katika National Police Service members of the fourth estate na wengine wote walioko hapa uombolezi na wasalimu nyota mjambo Mimi naitwa Lomwatu Davis Lomwatu na cheo changu ni Assistant Inspector General katika kikosi cha askari tawala na natoka upande wa Taveta nimekuwa nipigo kwetu sana 
kwa kumpoteza bwana huyu ni kijana mdogo sana kati ya wale wachache tu ambao tuko nao katika kazi ya kuchunga usalama katika nchi hii yote tunakubali manake that is what we signed for we signed to put our life in line for this country that is what we trained for that is what we took the oath of allegiance and the oath of office and that is what we do and we will never relent so that his death does not be in vain thank you so much kwa mama yetu Lydia Ashanuru uh, baba yuko Taveta ndio anangojea wageni watakao kuwa wanamsindikiza kijana wetu nyumbani uh, ndugu jamaa na marafiki pamoja na wenzake wenye kufanya kazi na yeye kwenye National Police Service uh, nachukua nafasi hii kutoa risala zangu binafsi za jamii na wataveta wote kwa ujumla na wakenya wote kwa ujumla kwa jamii ya bwana na binuru kwa kumpoteza shujaa huyu mtoto wetu Jafet Nduguja Nuru Nafikiria kwa wale ambao walikuwa wamemfahamu kijana na wenzake waliokuwa naye kazini walijua sababu yake kubwa sana ya kuingia kwenye discipline forces ilikuwa kwa sababu ya kuwa apigane na hawa ambao wamekuwa kituletea shida nchini alikuwa ametaka sana kuingia ili aweze kushinda nguvu za magaidi hawa haswa baada ya mkasa wa West Gates hivyo basi shujaa huyu kwenye akili yake alikuwa na nia na uamuzi wake wa kuwa lazima wapigane na magaidi hao na kama vile wenzake wakubwa wake walivyosema ni kuwa amepoteza maisha yake akijaribu kupigania nchi yake na kuokoa maisha ya wengine kitu kile ambacho nitakachosema ni kuwa kuna watu ambao huwa wanazaliwa ili waweze kufanya kazi fulani shujaa huyu aliyelala hapa wakati Mwenyezi Mungu alivyomuumba alikuwa azaliwe aje afanye kazi hii ambayo alikuwa akifanya sikubahatisha kwa hivyo nataka kuchukua nafasi hii kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kumchagua bwana nabii Wilfred Nuru kuwa ndio watatuletea shujaa huyu duniani katika maisha yake hayo mafupi kijana huyu alionesha ukakamavu na bidii kwenye kazi lakini juu ya hapo wale wote waliomfahamu walimjua akiwa kijana mwenye nidhamu mwenye heshima na kupenda kazi yake na kujitolea kwa lolote lile hata kama ni jambo la kuhusu jamii ama kuhusu rafiki zake alikuwa anajitolea sana nataka kuchukua nafasi hii kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kutupatia na pia tusherekee maisha ya kijana huyu yapokuwa yamekatwa mapema lakini Mwenyezi Mungu sa nyingine ana sababu zake mara kwa mara tutamuuliza maswali na hataweza kutujibu kwa sababu anajua ni kwa nini maisha ya kijana huyu yameisha wakati huu kwa jamii ya wataveta sisi tumepoteza shujaa lakini vijana wengi ambao wako kwenye shughuli kama hii alikuwa akifanya ya mambo na discipline forces inawaomba muendelee na moyo huo huo wabidii mwenzenu ametangulia lakini nyinyi muendelee kufanyia kazi nchi hii kwa sababu muliingia na nia ya kuweza kufanyia kazi nchi hii nataka kuchukua nafasi hii kumshukuru mheshimiwa rais na naibu wa rais na inspector general 
na waziri Fred Matiangi pamoja na mkubwa wa GSU pamoja na timu yake yote kwa ile kazi nzuri ambao wamekuwa kifanyia nchi kungangana kupigana na magaidi wale wanatusumbua hapa nchini vile vile tunajua tumepata hii mikasa mara kadhaa lakini bwana Kanja commandant Kanja what you did the other day in Dusit has made us so proud of your work that Mwenyezi Mungu akuzidishie umri akuzidishie maisha uzidi ku lead team za kuweza kutusaidia kuweza kutuokolea maisha ya wananchi Sisi jamii ya Wataveta baada ya kupoteza namna hii shujaa huyu lakini tunajua kwenye discipline forces we've given you mashujaa wengi na kazi lazima itaendelea na wale officers wetu ambao wanafanya kazi na kushulikia wa Kenya hata kwenye armed forces pamoja na national police service tunawaombea Mwenyezi Mungu awalinde ili waweze kufanya kazi hiyo ambayo ni nzito nataka kuchukua nafasi hii kutoa shukurani zangu za dhati kwa mheshimiwa rais naibu wake waziri Fred Matiangi inspector general anayesimamia kikosi cha GSU bwana Bashane pamoja na kina na wenzake kina bwana Kanja wote hao na vijana wote wa GSU and the National Police Service kwa ujumla kwa kusimama na sisi wakati huu wote na kuweza kutusaidia katika mzigo huu ambao ni mzito na majonzi yale tulioko nayo Mama Mwenyezi Mungu akupatie subra wewe pamoja na mzee Wilfred Nuru wapatie subra muweze kuvumilia na kuweza pia kupata afueni mzigo huu mwepesi haswa wakati huu tunapomsindikiza kijana nyumbani na hata tukifika nyumbani tukishamlaza pali pake tunaomba kuwa Mwenyezi Mungu awawezeshe dadake Helen Jumapili amekuwa tangu mwanzo tumekuwa naye amekwenda kumuhamisha kakake alivyokuwa amewekwa kule Chiromo tukawa naye Kenyatta University wakati wa postmortem she's a very strong girl but kifo ni kizito she tries to stand firm unfortunately she's also a police officer so that gives her the strength that she has and interesting enough she also started from GSU before she moved over to the other service so she's also made up of very tough material and i want to thank bwana nabi wilfred nuru again for giving us this young girl ambaye ni mkubwa wa huyu aliyelala hapa shujaa wetu lakini pia naye ni shujaa because it's not easy for a lady to withstand the kind of pressure she had i want to pray and ask you to pray for her and for the rest of the family so that they can be stronger especially now that they've lost their brother all right, that is the live uh, requiem mass uh, coverage here on KTN News Center for the late record squad officer who died during the Dusit D2 attack. That is Japheth Nuru. It's currently at uh, the All Saints Cathedral. And I need to wrap up News Center as I leave you that live coverage. Thank you so much for watching. See you next week on Monday, same time, same place. My name is Brenda Zedder. I do and thanks to everyone who has made News Center success. But continue with the live coverage of the requiem mass of the late uh, GSU officer Japheth Nuru. Nuru. Yeah, ningewaomba karibuni sana Taveta wakati tunamsindikiza kijana wetu karibuni tumpatie hii safari yake kwa heshima anayostahili asanteni sana and may god bless you Asante sana mheshimiwa kwa maneno haya kutuliza moyo pamoja na jamii yote ya polisi family we now get the first and the second reading the first and the second reading and then we will have a hymn to prepare to hear the word of god and then we'll be coming to the close of the service
the first and the second reading. Also the second reader, if he or she is available. Adana government representative, the poli uh, National Police Service, senior staff officers present, our parents and our colleagues, good morning. Let us get our first reading from the book of Revelation, chapter 21 from verse 1 to 8. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Now the dwelling of God is with men, and he will live with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. Verse 4, He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning, or crying, or pain. For the old order of things has passed away. Verse 5. He was, he who was seated on the throne said, I'm making everything new. Then he said, write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. He said to me, it is done. I'm the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To him who is thirsty, I will give to drink without cost from the springs of the water of life. He who overcomes will inherit all this. And I will be his God and he will be my son. But the cowardly, the unbelieving, the vile, the murderers, the sexually immoral, those who practice magic acts, the idolaters, and all liars, their place will be in the fiery lake of burning sulfur. This is the second death. The second reader. 